Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a quick video. I want to talk about the minigun with passing damage. Um, I highly recommend you watch Angry Turtles video. This is where I watched it. I wanted to test it for myself to see how useful it is, especially due, um, during today's daily ops where you have to kill them with a melee. And if you're a gunner, that is just very tedious and annoying. So this is a very powerful weapon without any ammo is the point of this video. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any ammo. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to actually kill enemies without any, any ammo. But if you want to have ammo, it's, it's obviously uh, just as powerful. Uh, I'm a heavy gunner build. I'm going to show you my perks in a minute. Uh, but just to look at the gun quickly, the most important point here, I think, is having bashing damage. Uh, if you ha if you stack that with the bashing perk card, I believe it stacks. Um, you can get even more damage out of that from the bashing. But 50% uh, makes me very op with just this weapon. I take out these uh, 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 super mutants, no problem. I take out the leader, uh, which is a pretty beefy leader in daily ops, no problem. I don't even sweat it, right? So uh, you can easily roll a weapon like this. As you can see, I have a bloodied weapon with 50% damage. Um, Damage legendary perk there. I don't really think the wrestling make a difference. It doesn't have to be bladed. Having a vampire as well, which you can easily uh, roll as well, um, would would be just as useful, right? So just quickly going through my perks. I think the main ones here is a heavy gunner uh, uh, perk card there. Uh, the heavy gunner uh, or the one heavy gunner. I think I think uh, Angry Turtle has that as three or two. Uh, just check out his video on that. Uh, you can, like I said, instead of blocker, you could probably have the bashing perk instead, and give you even more damage out of that. Um, some of the other perks I have here are stabilized uh, for damage again. So I have a little bit of a mix of damage and some quality of life perks. Adrenaline, uh, you know, fireproof, radical, uh, give you extra strength. Um, and then yeah, I mean, those are some of the things. And of course, you have mutations and stuff, right? So. If you wanted to, 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 to take a look at the perks and have a similar build, by all means take a look at these cards and then uh, you know base your build on that and I'll show you how much damage and how quick I can kill things just with um, the front of this weapon without any ammo, right? Um, I think the other thing that was mentioned is having it as a ultra sight. I think that picks up less ammo. I'm not sure someone can comment on that. Um, but yeah, I think either 5 mil or ultra size, you pick up ammo anyway, so I'm not sure if there's any benefic benefit to have one or the other. Of course, ultra side ammo is more powerful, right? So, and maybe, maybe that's kind of the point of that, right? So anyway, let me show you quickly how I can quickly take out enemies with just the front of this gun. you like, I don't even sweat it, right? It's very quick, very easy, you know, and we're doing, like I said, this is a daily ops where you have to kill them with... Um, a melee, I don't have to switch weapons, which is just painful, I think. Uh, you know, if you switch in between a melee weapon, you know, shooting and then trying to kill them with a the melee is kind of silly, right? So, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to fast forward this video to certain, just get to the certain, certain areas, so I don't have to uh, put you through that. And then right at the end, I'm going to show you how quick and easy I can kill the leader without even sweating it, um, you know. Uh, within literally seconds, right? Um, and again, I don't think I have necessarily an oak build. Uh, you can get a much stronger build. Uh, better, probably better pro cards to deal with this. The other thing I want to mention here yeah, is, is Angry Tentacle to mention if somebody else brings the enemy down to low health, you can't actually kill it with the front of the, uh, the weapon. But I didn't find that in my case, so I'm not sure if he had a bug or something on his weapon that, that did that. But yeah, I, I had my second character, yeah, I just drained the health on the CP mutants and tested that, and it's it's fine. It doesn't logically make sense that would be the case, because I mean, you're playing, you know, playing together, and you know, you should be able to kill with your weapon, whether that's bashing, melee, whatever, even if you didn't drain the enemy there, right? So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, uh, I'm going to fast forward in a little bit and then we'll run to the end. Um, and we'll, we'll kill the last bit of enemies and I'll show you that. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. But yeah, great weapon. I would have it in your arsenal uh, without any ammo. Just keep it there when you want to just do some melee at, uh, damage, uh, especially in this kind of uh, event. 
it's great to have just there um, and if you're heavy gunner build you probably got the right perks for weight so you can carry these these weapons anyway thanks for watching enjoy that's a great tool just for this bastion damage um you know especially those daily ops where you have to actually kill them with a melee you know you don't have to switch guns you can kill them no ammo with ease, right? I really like it. You can still switch guns, obviously, if, you know, if you have two gun sets. No problem. Okay, so we just got the leader and I'll show you how quickly we drop this guy. If I can find him, seems to spawn a little bit late here. Yeah, he sometimes will spawn in the wall. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, so as you can see, see how quickly it just drains his health. Voila. Like I said, um, it's very easy to actually craft one of these. Uh, you know, I thought you had to get a special drop or get somebody to. Uh, you know, give you wine or something, right? But yeah, you can just roll these with the legendary uh, perks. Uh, just go to your crafting station, just keep rolling them until you get one with bastion damage. Uh, very quick and easy. Like I said, I rolled the bladed one with 50% damage. It was actually my first roll, to be honest. Um, and well, well, first roll in terms of one that had bastion damage, right? So I pre rolled it a few times um, to get that. But as soon as I got a, the, my first bladed, I should probably say there, my first bladed one. And it had bash and damage, which was great, right? So I was looking for either a vampire or bladed. I, I prefer bladed just because the damage output's better. But I also like, I also carry a lot of vampires. I like vampire a lot, right? So either one of those would work very nicely, uh, depending on your build and what you're looking for. But yeah, grab one of those, make sure it's got bash and damage, and then you're good to go. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Definitely get one. Definitely carry one on you as a tool because I think they are pretty useful to have. Uh, especially for the stadium. Anyway, thanks, enjoy, and have fun.